pretty ears welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here my name is emma and i am so happy you clicked on my soup of the week video i hope you like it we'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already this week's soup we are making beefy tomato soup in my dutch oven over here i have about a tablespoon of olive oil heating up. I'm going to add half of an onion and I'm going to add half of a bell pepper that I diced up. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic. Now I'm just going to saute this until everything is softened, probably for about five minutes. All right, they're a little softer. Now I'm just gonna add my ground beef. And I'm gonna cook this up until it's no longer pink. Okay, it is no longer pink. I'm just going to drain some of this oil. Okay, most of it's drained. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. One and a half. Give that a little stir, stir, stir. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of oregano. One and a half. And give that a little stir, stir, stir. Now I'm going to add a little salt, a little pepper. Give that a little stir, 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 and just let it cook up for two minutes. Okay, it's been two minutes. Now I'm gonna add a 10.25 ounce can of tomato condensed soup. Give that a little stir, stir, stir. Now I'm going to add a 10 ounce can of diced tomatoes with the juice. And give that a little stir, stir, stir. Now I'm going to add 16 ounces of beef broth. Give that a little stir, stir, stir. And now I'm going to add three cups of water. This measuring cup is one and a half cups. So, one and a half and three cups. Give that a little stir, stir. Now I'm just gonna bring it to a boil. Okay, it has come to a little boil. Now I'm gonna add my cup and a half of elbow noodles. Now I'm gonna give it a little, guess it. Stir, stir, stir. Now I'm going to pop the lid on and we're just gonna cook it up until the noodles are al dente. So the noodles are al dente. I just tasted it and it does not taste as tomato-y as I thought it would be. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of tomato bouillon. Give a little stir, stir, stir and see if that helps. Okay, that's better. Now I'm just gonna let it cook up for a little bit, maybe another minute or two. Now time to serve it up. And there it is, all served up. We just have some cheese and some cornbread on the side. And that's it delicious thank you guys so much for watching i hope you liked this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you monday for my what's for dinner video have a fabulous weekend we rate the soup a seven but the cornbread a ten